Naruto, we've, we've shown it off a couple times before, it's the new one, it's Revolution. What's special about this game? For people who have maybe played Naruto games in the past, what's different about this one? So the big new thing with Revolution is uh, the modes we have. So typical Naruto games follow the storyline from the anime. This one kind of departs from that where we have uh, Ninja Festival mode where it's taking ninjas from all over the uh, Naruto series and bringing them together to see who's the best uh, ninja in the world of all time. Uh, in that mode, you're not depleting, you're not uh, defeating the other characters. You are picking up orbs uh, and trying to get the most out of whoever has the most orbs at the end of the match will win the fight. And those are four ninja battles, four player ninja battles, uh, where you can kind of depart from the uh, traditional Naruto one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, fighting game system. And we also have Ninja Escapades mode, which is our story mode where it takes three original storylines. Uh, created by the um, creator uh, Kishimoto Sensei for uh, filling a backstory for a lot of the characters. Okay, so if we haven't played Naruto games before, tell us a little background. Like, who's the developer? How are they? What, what do they? What do they look like in the past? Are they? Are they well received? Have there been a lot of them, or not too many of them? Yeah, for Naruto, uh, we have the developer CyberConnect2 out of Japan for, uh, developing these games. They are very well respected. Uh, in the way they animate and develop these anime titles. They have a very high reverence for the source material for the Naruto man manga and anime series and can instantly tell that with uh, how well the game looks and plays and feels. Uh, it's very colorful as you can see. Uh, it looks just like the anime series if you're familiar with that. And it's uh, taking all the characters from the entire Naruto storyline. So. You have oh, you have a hundred character roster in this game. Uh, you don't need to know any of the characters to have a good time. Very cool. So we there's this phenomenon with the Naruto games. We take into a lot of shows. We had Revolution at WonderCon. We have it at E3. We're going to have it at Anime Expo. Tell us about kind of the fan reaction to these games when we bring when we bring them to the shows. We found that whenever we bring these things out, these, these games out to the shows, as soon as the doors open, the fans flock to them. They get crowds. They get all hyped up for the game. They go nuts. They start their own tournaments. Uh, it's really interesting to see just how the crowds and the reaction going on. Uh, the fighting's fast, the colorful, it's a lot of stuff going on, on screen, exciting stuff going on, on screen, so people really react to, to seeing that. It's definitely a good spectator game. So I have two final questions. Number one, tell us about Mecha Naruto. I've heard of him before, but I'm not sure exactly the details. And the, the other question is, when is it out? When are, when are we releasing? So Mecha Naruto is a character, a brand new character for the game and for the series. It's exclusive to Revolutions, created by uh, the creator of the manga, Kishimoto Sensei. And he is, you find him in the game, uh, passed out or and not operating. Naruto finds him. He wakes up. He thinks Mecha Naruto thinks he's Naruto. Naruto doesn't know what's going on. Uh, and it is storyline through that is you're trying to find out who he is, how he's created, why is he here. Uh, it's not really said if he's good or bad, you gotta find that out throughout the story. And you can play him in the game, in the online and then versus multiplayer. And he has a lot of uh, Naruto's movesets just mechanized. So he has mecha Rasengans and he turns into a giant robot. Uh, he's, uh, he has the Nine Tails Karama mode, but it's mechanized, steam powered. It's really cool.